Hey everyone, today I have a lower body workout for you that is on the longer side. The focus of it is strength, so we're gonna challenge ourselves and really try to go heavier with the weights we use, and then we will finish with a body weight Tabata to kind of ramp up that heart rate. This is a tough one. I sort of wish I had filmed this before doing the workout because now I am in a sweaty mess. Pickles did the workout too, that's why she kind of looks uh, dead right now. <laughs> Anyway, as for the structure of the workout, it's broken up into two strength circuits. In each circuit, I'm gonna give you five exercises. You do full range for 30 seconds, then you pulse for 15 seconds, rest for 15 seconds, and then move on to the next exercise. If that sounds confusing, don't worry, it'll make sense as we get going. When you complete the circuit, you get to rest for 30 seconds before repeating it. In total, we are gonna go through each circuit three times. Once you complete your two circuits, we're gonna finish with a little body weight Tabata. I'll give you two exercises and you'll alternate between them using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest. Now, if you don't wanna jump around and you wanna just focus on the strength training, feel free to skip that little finisher. In between each of the circuits and the Tabata, I will give you a preview of the upcoming exercises. For the Tabata, I'll also show you how to modify. For the strength exercises though, your way to modify is just use lighter weights. Speaking of equipment, you are gonna need two heavy weights. I am using two 20 pound dumbbells. Um, if they get to be too heavy, you could always drop down and just use one heavy weight for the exercises, or you could have a lighter one on hand. Optional is a resistance band loop, just for the first circuit. I'm gonna wear it, but if you don't have one on hand or you wanna skip it, don't even worry about it. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. I have a couple warmups on my channel that I've linked to below. Please warm up before you get into this one. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. Um, so if you don't have a playlist or a podcast or a TV show queued up, you might wanna get that going. And with all that said, let's get to the preview of our first circuit. Okay, so for this first round, you're only gonna need one of your heavy weights. First exercise is going to be a good morning hinge, drop into a squat and stand up. So we're gonna hold that weight at our chest. I'll try not to muffle my mic here. <laughs> there we go. Chest is staying broad. So you're gonna hinge, hip slide back, soft bend to your knees. You're gonna drop it down into a squat and you're gonna drive through those heels, squeeze your seat at the top. Hinge. Drop it low, drive it up. Halfway there. So we're opening up through the backs of the legs here, waking up those glutes and hamstrings. The hold is just gonna be in your low squat. Hold low, it's a little pulse. I want you pushing out against that resistance band loop so that your knees are kind of tracking in line with your middle to pinky toes. and rest. Okay, next exercise, we're going to keep this heavy weight, but if this is too much using your weight, you do have the option to go body weight on this one. I'm gonna have the weight on my shoulders. We're gonna add in a lateral step. So in a low squat, you're gonna take two or three, depending on how much space you have, steps to the side, come up, sink back down low.
Now for the hold on this one, we'll stay at the bottom and we'll just alternate stepping side to side. Okay, hold low and then from here, step to the side, back to center. Wide, center. And rest. Okay, next exercise, going to be a sumo position and you're gonna have the weight standing on its end. Toes are angled outward slightly, feet are wide. We're gonna hold the weight here. We'll do a little calf raise at the bottom. Heels lift, heels lower, and then stand. Now, you are staying tall through the chest here. Little heel raise, drop them down, squeeze the top. If your band slips up and doesn't stay around your thighs, don't worry about it, okay? You can adjust it at the rest. The hold's gonna be at the bottom. You're gonna keep your heels down and just pulse for me. Again, you're nice and tall through the torso. Push those knees wide. And rest. All right, we're gonna come to the floor for the final two exercises. Adjust that band if it just rolled up like mine did. We're gonna do a glute bridge. Heels about a ruler distance from your seat. And from here, you're gonna drive through the heels, lift those hips up lower back down. So when you do this lift, you're not just clenching your low back. Yes, your low back is working here, but the drive comes from the glutes. So I want you to think of driving the heels down, squeezing the seat to get those hips up. Abdominals are engaged, so we're not arching into the low back. Get ready to hold at the top for pulses. Hold at the top, it's just a little pulse. Now, this one's a little different because we have another variation of a hip bridge. So instead of resting for 15 seconds, you're just gonna hold high for me, okay? That's coming up. Hold. Okay, now I want you to start to walk your feet in closer to each other, keep your hips lifted. You're gonna kind of roll to the outer edges of your feet. We're gonna come into a frog press. Start to push your knees out a little wider against that resistance band loop. So now we have this frog pump, lower and lift. This is another one where the band might roll up around your hips. Don't sweat it if it does, we'll fix it during the rest. Again, as you drive up, abs are engaged so that we're not hyperextending through the low back. Your rib cage shouldn't puff open at the top. Get ready to hold at the top. Hold, it's a little pulse. Push against that resistance band, down an inch, up an inch, down and up, squeeze. And rest, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go through that twice more. You got 30 seconds to recover here. We're gonna start at the top with that good morning hinge. If you found the resistance band loop to be a pain in the butt, you can totally do this whole thing without it, okay? It's just to add some optional resistance and it can help with glute activation, but this will be challenging without it as well. Let's go. Hinge it forward, drop down into your squat, drive through the heels, squeeze your seat at the top. So when you do that hinge, Lead with the hips. It's like someone's pulling the back of your pants. Back, soft bend to the knees, but it's not a squat. Then you bend the knees, sink down, drive it to the top. Hold low in your squat and it's a little pulse. Brought across the collarbones. Hopefully I'm not muffling my mic here. Weight is in the heels. and rest, okay. So we're gonna keep using the weight. You can hold it in front, but I'm gonna switch it to rest on my shoulders for this next one. We have that lateral side step. Sink low, two to three steps to the side, depending on how much space you have. Come up, 
sit low. Remember that hold will start with feet, not narrow, but a little closer together, and then you'll just step wide and back in. Okay, hold low from here, step wide, narrow, other side, reach your tailbone back. And rest. Okay, we're gonna have that weight up and down now. We have that sumo squat, whew, with that little calf raise at the bottom. So knees tracking in line with middle to pinky toes. Sink down, grab that weight, lift the heels, lower, whew, drive up to the top. Now, everyone's hips are different, and if you are tight through the hips, you might notice your knees wanting to cave to the inside of your big toes. Don't let that happen. If that is happening, I need you to narrow your stance and point the toes forward a little more. You're gonna hold that sumo squat now. Little pulses, heels stay down for these. Push out against that resistance band. Drive through the heels, chest stays tall. And rest. We're gonna make our way to the floor for these final two. Glute bridge coming up, weight comes to your hips. Drive through the heels, pick your hips up. As you do, think of reaching your knees long and down. Heels drive to the floor, squeeze your seat. I recommend lifting on the exhale. That's gonna help with that abdominal connection. Exhale, hold at the top. It's a little pulse, down an inch. Drive those heels into the floor. Down, drive them up. Remember, you don't get a rest on this one. We're just gonna hold at the top because we got another hip bridge variation. Hold at the top, okay. Start to walk your feet in closer towards each other. Keep your hips up though. Now roll onto the outer, outer edges of your feet, push your knees out wide so your feet kind of make, or your legs kind of make a diamond shape. We have that frog pump coming up. Let's go, lower the hips, drive them up. Lower, last 45 seconds of work in this circuit. Hold at the top, it's a little pulse. Final 15 seconds, down an inch, squeeze up an inch. Thirty seconds to rest. Okay, last time through these exercises and then you're done with this first circuit and you'll get a fresh batch of moves. Weight at your chest, but don't round your shoulders. Hinge forward, drop to your squat, drive through your heels, squeeze your seat and core as you lift. Hopefully you guys are feeling your glutes working by this point. I know I certainly am. Hold low in that squat, pulse. Reach your tailbone long, weight in the heels. Up an inch, down an inch. Trying not to smush my mic. and rest. Alright, we got that lateral step coming up. 
so in these circuits, it's not about speed. It is not about how many reps you get in. It's about challenging yourself with the weight. So if you're not feeling challenged at this point, you need to go heavier. Two or three steps to the side. Stand low. All right, hold it low. We step wide, center, wide, center. Rest. Okay, weight, stand it up tall. In between your legs, stretch those legs out wide. Toes angled out, only as wide as hip mobility allows. Sink down, grab that weight at the bottom. Calf raise, drive, stand it up, get low. Whoop, as I fall forward. <laughs> Again, if you're using the band and it rolls up like mine is, we'll fix it during the rest, don't even worry about it. Oh, there goes my band. Hold low, just the pulse. Up and down. Heels stay down for the pulse. Make your way to the floor. Glute bridge time to finish. Heels under your knees. Let's go. Lift and lower. Drive the hips up. So make a fist with your butt cheeks. Drive the heels into the floor. Again, it's gonna be very helpful to exhale as you lift up. It's gonna help with your abdominal connection here so that we're not hyperextending into that low back. Hold at the top, it's a little pulse. Down, squeeze and lift. Down, squeeze into the seat. You have no rest on this one, we're just gonna stay holding. Almost there guys, nearing the end of the circuit. All right, hold. Walk your feet in towards each other, making that diamond shape with your legs, so push your knees out wide. You're on the outer edges of your feet. Frog pump, let's go, 30 seconds down. Squeeze it up. Woo, I'm feeling those glutes. Maintain that tension on your resistance band, so don't let it slingshot your knees in, okay? Press wide as you press up. 15 seconds in a full range of motion, and then we'll hold the top to finish. Hold at the top, it's a little pulse. Down, up, down, up, drive it up. Almost there. Woo, and rest. Okay, you have around 90 seconds to rest because it's gonna take some time for me to show you all the next exercises.
Okay, so this circuit, we're really challenging ourselves with the weight. I want you to use both heavies. That being said, at any point if you need to modify, just drop down and only use one, okay? So we are gonna start isolating the right side. Oh, hello, Pickles. So your right leg is going to be the focus. We have a deadlift to a reverse lunge. So your right foot is forward. The ball of your left foot is lightly a few inches behind that right heel. Roll the shoulder blades down your back. One staggered deadlift. Come to the top. Step that left foot back. One reverse lunge. Hinge it. Come up. Reverse lunge. Back to the staggered position. Now you finish each movement by squeezing into this right butt cheek at the top. Again, squeeze that right butt cheek at the top. Lots of glute work today. Now the hold in this one will just be down in that reverse lunge. Okay, step back. You're in that reverse lunge and it's just a little pulse. Now I want you to check in on your hips. They should be level to the floor, so you probably need to take that back left hip and pick it up a smidge. And rest. Just a note, guys, this is how I had the, uh, the weights. One forward, one to the side, so that way it wasn't hitting my leg. All right, now you're gonna rack those weights up on your shoulders. We got a curtsy. Your right foot is planted. I'll, mirror, I'll face you, mirror me. Left foot steps back. Come to your low squat. Drive stand at the top. Curtsy, stay low, come into your squat. Stand it up. I'm gonna to stand to the side just so I have more space. All right, now you're gonna hold the curtsy and it's a little pulse. Sorry, I think I'm muffling my mic. And 15 seconds to rest. Okay, I'm gonna do those same two moves for your left leg now. Starting with that staggered deadlift to the back lunge. So left foot forward, right foot plants, one staggered deadlift. It's a hinge, it's not a squat. Come forward and then step into your back lunge. There's barely any weight in that back right foot. Weight is in your front left heel. Don't hunch your shoulders on the deadlift. Long neutral spine. Hold the low lunge, pulse it out. Take that back right hip, pick it up, level it off. So the pulse you lead with your left butt cheek, down and up. 15 seconds to rest. Okay, we're gonna rack the weights on our shoulders. If you need to drop down to one weight for this one, do it. I'm holding the weights kind of weird because I don't want to block my mic. Uh, we'll see. Okay, left foot stays planted. Step your right foot back into the curtsy. Squat, stand it up. I'm gonna drop to one weight for these um, just because I don't want to muffle my mic. Sorry guys. Wow, it's much nicer with one light. <laughs> Hold the curtsy, and it's a little pulse. Look at the left knee, it's tracking in line with your middle toes. So you might need to actually pull your back right hip forward a little bit. Whew, rest. Okay, final exercise in this circuit. Squat cleans, so put the weight on the floor, up and down vertical. Squat down, grab it, drive through your legs, flip your grip, squat down, up, reverse it. So this is your chance to add in a little speed, only if you can do so, maintaining proper form.
hold low, little pulse. This is it, 15 seconds. Rest. Okay, you got 30 seconds here and then we start from the top. Switching to a voice over for the rest of this workout so I can stop stressing about the weights crushing my mic. Okay, we have that staggered deadlift to the back lunge. Your right leg is the focus. So right foot's gonna stay planted on the floor. Left toes planted a few inches behind that right heel, square off your hips, and then it is one staggered deadlift, one back lunge, stepping that left foot back. When you do that deadlift, it is not a squat, so yes, there is some bending to that front knee, but it's all about the hip hinge, so your hips slide back as the torso hinges forward. We're not collapsing through the upper back, so you're staying broad across those collarbones. In just a few seconds, you'll hear those beeps and you will hold your low lunge. All right, come into that split lunge position and it is a pulse. Slight lean forward with the torso. And rest. So we're gonna rack the weights on our shoulders. You can always drop down to one weight for this if you'd like. Right foot is going to stay planted, so I want you to mirror me. Curtsy, stay low, come into that low squat, drive it up, squeeze your bum at the top. When you hear those beeps, you are going to hold the curtsy lunge position. Find that curtsy, little pulse, up and down. Now I want you to tune your attention to your back left hip. If it's dropping down significantly lower than the right hip, I want you to hitch it up a little bit. Try to level your hips. Woo, 15 seconds to rest. So we're going to repeat those same two moves. Left leg will be the focus. Left foot forward, right foot lightly on the floor for support, one deadlift, one back lunge. Now when you come out of that deadlift and when you come out of that lunge, I want your attention to tune to the left side glutes. You are squeezing your seat as you come to the top, but not dumping into the low back, so you're also bracing through the core. All right, find that back lunge position, square off and level off through your hips, and it's a little pulse, down and up. Every time you pulse up, think of driving your left heel into the floor. 15 seconds to rest. If grip strength is becoming an issue, put the weights down for a second, wiggle out those fingers, and then grab them and rack them on your shoulders. Curtsy lunge, left foot is going to stay planted. So you'll mirror me, your right foot will step back. Curtsy, stay low, come to your low squat, drive through the heels, hips come forward, stand. Curtsy, low squat, stand. It's not about speed, it's about proper form. So yes, I want you to stay active through these whole 30 seconds of full range, but don't rush it, don't get sloppy. At those beeps, you're gonna hold your low curtsy. Find that curtsy lunge, little pulse. Down an inch, up. Same thing I was talking about in our back lunge hold. When you pulse up, think of driving that left heel into the floor. Fifteen seconds to rest. Ditch one of the weights if you're still using both. You'll just need one. We have those squat cleans. Stand it up on its end. low squat position get low through the legs stay open through the chest drive it up flip that grip squat come up reverse it tap that weight down towards the floor 
If these get to be too much, I want you to modify by just giving me a weighted squat so you would hold that weight at your chest. Just squat down and up. Don't worry about the clean. When you hear those beeps, we hold our low squat, like a goblet squat. So weight right at your chest, get low. Your elbows are just to the inside of your knees and you're pulsing up a couple inches, down a couple inches. Final few seconds, stay low. Woo, okay, you have 30 seconds to rest before we go into our final round of this circuit. Final time through this strength circuit. Let's go. We're going to start with those staggered deadlifts. Right leg will be the focus. If these are getting to be too much, I want you to drop down to one weight. And if you do that, hold it in your opposite left hand. One staggered deadlift. There's not a lot of weight in that back left foot, okay? The toes are just lightly on the ground for balance support. Remember, make sure to come all the way up and out of the deadlift before stepping back into that lunge. So really finish it at the top, squeeze your glutes, then step back. Hold your next back lunge down and let's pulse it out. Check in on those hips. I want you to take your back left hip and shift it forward just a smidge to level it off with your front right hip. Fifteen seconds to rest. Again, if grip strength is going, drop the weights for a second, wiggle out your fingers, then grab them again, rack them on your shoulders. You're going to mirror me. Your right foot stays planted. Left foot will step behind. You have your curtsy to your low squat. Let's go. Curtsy, get low. Stay low. Come to your squat. Weight in the heels at the bottom of that squat. Drive the hips forward, squeezing the glutes. Engage your abdominals. Come to the top. Come to your curtsy, hold it low, pulse it out. Last time you are going to be isolating this leg. You got it up an inch, down an inch. Fifteen seconds to rest. We're going to repeat those two movements on the other leg. Stagger deadlifts. Left foot is forward. Square off your hips. Right toes a couple inches behind that left heel. One stagger deadlift, one back lunge. Under 10 seconds to go. Hold your low lunge. Let's pulse it out. Hips are square and level. Rest. Last exercise, isolating one side. We have that curtsy lunge. Rack the weights on your shoulders or just hold one weight at your chest. Left foot stays planted. Mirror me. Right foot steps back, curtsy, come to your low squat, drive through the heels, squeeze your bum at the top. Find your low curtsy position. Let's pulse it out. Fifteen seconds to rest. You have just one exercise remaining in this circuit. Ditch one of the weights. You'll only need one. We're going to do those squat cleans.
30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So you got 30 seconds full range, 15 seconds of pulsing, and then you are done with your second circuit. You are almost there. Under 10 seconds, stay with the rhythm you're in. Weight stays at your chest, elbows in, find your low squat, pulse it out. Final 15 seconds, you got it. Up an inch or two, down an inch or two. And done. Awesome work. So you have a full 60 seconds to rest now. I'm going to show you a preview of our Tabata exercises. If you are just going to do the strength portion, though, then you can skip this last finisher and you are done. Okay, four minutes to go, and then you are done with this workout. No equipment is needed. Body weight Tabata coming up. We'll alternate between those two exercises I just demonstrated. Squat jacks are first. So let's find a low squat position. One hand reaches towards the floor. The feet jack in and out as you bring opposite hand towards the ground. If your hand isn't actually touching the floor, don't worry about it. I only want you to reach as low as you can without hunching and rounding through your upper back. Ten seconds to rest. Next exercise, little combo. We do a lunge hop, a jump lunge, switching which leg is in front, and a lunge hop on that side. Find your split lunge position, square your hips, let's go. Hop, jump switch, hop, switch your legs. If these get to be too much, first just replace the hop with a pulse, still doing the jump lunge, and then if you need to take out the jumping altogether, you would give me an alternating back lunge. And rest to work intervals down. Six to go. <laughs> That's not very reassuring. <laughs> All right, squat jacks coming up. You stay fairly low in the squat jack. So even when I'm bringing my feet together, notice my legs are not straight at all. So stay pretty low. Feet go wide in, wide in. Catch your breath, 10 seconds. Let's find that split lunge position. Lunge hop, jump lunge, switch your feet, hop, switch. Okay, you're halfway there. So we got two minutes remaining in this workout. You got this. Squat jacks coming up. Get low, fingertips reach towards the floor, in, out, in, out. So you're able to reach the floor not because you're leaning forward so much with your torso, it's because you are sitting low through the legs. That is the key. Woo, catch your breath. Lunge hop, lunge jump. Let's go. We are working a lot harder than Pickles is right now. That is for sure. <laughs> Rest. Okay, just two more work intervals. I know it's tough. I'm dying. <laughs> One more time, each exercise. Get low, squat jacks. Last time you'll see this. 20 seconds. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds the other exercise, and then you're done. Push just as hard in these last couple intervals as you did the first two. Boop, boop. 
rest. 20 seconds of work to go. You can do this. Split lunge position, square your hips, level your hips, hop, switch. Try to find a rhythm and then stick with that pace throughout the 20 seconds, okay? Don't slow down. You're already at that halfway point, 10 seconds. You can do that. And that is your workout. Awesome job. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every Monday, but trying to do that more frequently since we are all stuck at home right now. And this week is a little different. I'm posting a new workout every day to give you a full week of workouts. If you want the schedule for that, the link is below. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.